And one insect has taken that to the extreme, twisting its venom for a diabolical purpose that's like something out of science fiction, turning another animal into a zombie. These are the emerald jewel wasps. Researcher Chris Banks has devised an ingenious method to experiment with the wasp's venomous attack. We're going to put a wasp and a cockroach into this area right here and let them interact. We've also included glass vials here and these will serve as makeshift burrows for the wasp. An unsuspecting host is first introduced to the arena. The roach is unaccustomed to threats from smaller animals. The stage for the battle is set and the wasp is released. As soon as the jewel wasp senses a host, she will surprise her prey and use that brief moment to her advantage. She attacks. The wasp's first sting is brilliantly strategic, just enough to disarm the roach. The first time it stings it into the central nervous system and causes a temporary paralysis of the front legs. Venom hits the roach's nervous system in between its front legs, briefly paralyzing them. The wasp twists its body around the roach so it can sting into its brain and inject the zombifying mixture. The roach's breathing slows. It makes no move to escape. This brain sting causes a dramatic behavioral change in the cockroach, basically turning it into a zombie. Wasp venom is precisely engineered to shut down signals carried by a key brain chemical called the dopamine. The wasp leads her zombie cargo to a burrow. But if the wasp can target her venom so well, why doesn't she simply deliver a death blow? Inside the burrow, the wasp lays her egg on the roach. With survival of her offspring at stake, the wasp's precision now makes sense. Now the wasp barricades the defenseless roach inside the burrow. For more than a week, the wasp venom continues to keep the roach calm and complacent, even as the newly hatched larva starts to eat it alive. Here we see the larva actually starting to burrow into the cockroach itself. It will crawl inside and continue to feed off of the internal organs of the cockroach. After another couple of days, it will enter a cocoon. If all goes according to plan, six weeks from the first sting, a new adult jewel wasp emerges from the hollowed out dead roach. The new wasp is ready to carry on its vicious legacy. If she's a female, her venom is ready to provide for a new generation.